Woo! Okay, I hope you guys are ready for this one. So welcome to another episode of Inspired by Jimmy L, the vlog. <laughs> If you've been watching week after week, uh, by all means, make sure you are subscribed here on YouTube. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Anyway, inspiredbyjimmyl.com is everywhere. But the vlog, message, video, show for today. Growing up in the middle class. So, um, at least that's how I would classify it. I mean, we were definitely not in the nicest of neighborhoods, but financially, we definitely grew up in the middle class. And I didn't know or recognize how much that would affect me growing up until actually later part of last year. I was doing an interview with um, Evan Carmichael and I asked him a question, Helen, it made me ask the question of myself. A question about how difficult it was growing up in the middle class. Because Ed Milet, if you're not familiar with him, go check him out. But Ed Milet has this philosophy that people that are growing up in the middle class that are wanting to be successful, they find it a little bit more difficult. Crazy. I, that's what I said. Exactly what I said. Oh my goodness. So I get it now. But his philosophy is growing up in the lower class, you're pushing because this is not what you want. You know where you don't want to be. And that is fuel, fire, pushing you to get out of that situation or get out of that territory or get out of that particular environment, okay? Growing up in the lower classes, it can be used as fire to push you. Growing up in the upper class or higher class, all they have to do is model success. People around them have businesses and different 401k plans and they, they speak about IRAs and investment opportunities and, and investment properties and, and, and what to do with your money. So even if you're in the higher class and you fail, you can literally put yourself back in that situation, back in that environment and simply model the people around you that have already figured it out. OMG! But the middle class you don't have that fire pushing you because your home life is not bad. Grew up in a nice home, you know. Um, you had clothes on your back, food to eat at school, probably went on some family vacations, probably had more than one vehicle, didn't have to catch the bus, and the list goes on and on and on. And so you find comfort in that. So you don't have anything pushing you. And then on the opposite end of that, you don't have anyone around you modeling success either. They're not talking about how to invest your money. They're talking about how to save it for a rainy day because it's always going to happen. So you save as much as you can. But growing up in the middle class, it was really fun for me. I loved it. And again, it wasn't until I, I did an interview with Evan that I was able to realize that that is a huge reason. <laughs> but I'm not probably further along than what I am. Because I appreciated what my mom did for me. I appreciated what she, she offered me. And at the same time, we live a relatively comfortable lifestyle. Right? So growing up in the middle class for me was... Um, Comfortable, no complaints, no arguments, no hatred, none of the above. And so, yeah, that's it. Boring, boring stuff, I know. Sorry, but not really. <laughs> that's the best that I could offer you about growing up in the middle class, at least in my household and how I view it now. It's just, it was a normal day, normal life, normal, normal. Anyway, that's it, honey. Um, check out the episode with Evan Carmichael that I did. Uh, that interview was really amazing. So I know this is my answer, but you actually may be pleased to hear his. 
Double check inspired by Jimmy L and then type in Evan Carmichael. You will find it. So until next time, make sure that you're not doing anything just because I've asked you. Even though on this episode, I don't think I asked you to do anything. So anyway, let's just gonna, we're gonna skip to the end. Don't keep up with the Joneses. They're broke. Okay, like leave them alone. Stop that. You'd be better off doing you. No one else can do you like you. See you guys on the very next episode. Bye.